I would like to ask you, uh, Nia, again, we are still in rate of reaction. Rate of reaction is the time taken for a reactant change to product. Bahan jadi hasil. A product. Hey, guys, again, upper to reactant? Upper to be reactant? Before experiment. Oh, okay. Before experiment. Okay, good. And product? After the experiment. Okay. After the experiment. Hey, guys. Saya ada soalan. Saya ada soalan. Listen carefully. This is A and this is B. Di mana? A ke B kan? Before experiment and after experiment. Okay. Dengar sini betul-betul ya. Listen to my question a bit Carefully, careful. Apa yang ada sebelum eksperimen tapi tak ada selepas eksperimen? Apa yang ada selepas eksperimen tetapi tak ada sebelum eksperimen? <laughs> what you have before an experiment but doesn't have after the experiment but what you have after the experiment but be not before the experiment teka-teki ni Amita Sofia tell me what you have before the experiment but it doesn't have the after the experiment but what you have after the experiment but doesn't have before the experiment <coughs> jawapan dia before the experiment Before the experiment, you have the reactant but doesn't have the product. After the experiment, you doesn't have the reactant but you have the product. Siapa yang dapat jawab teka betul, dia lah betul. Ha. Guys, now I'm gonna change this to more mathematics. I gonna change this to more mathematic. <coughs> ada bermaksud in mathematic, ada bermaksud satu. Tak ada bermaksud kosong. Tak ada bermaksud kosong. Ada satu. Faham? Faham. Faham. Faham ke semua anak? Okay, since you all faham, dengar sini. Now, we are going to change this thing into a graph. In the form of a graph. Guys, kalau lah I look this graph, you must remember You must have a y axis and x axis. You have a y axis and x axis. Oh, maxis, eh? Yelah hijau, eh? Guys, y axis stand for what in experiment? Y axis. Epaksi Y itu sebenarnya merujuk kepada apa? No, baby. That in general, you have learned in form 3. You have learned in form 3. PT3. Ah, betul Alisha. Very good. Alisha, betul. Dia adalah responding variable. Yang bergerak balas. Yang bergerak balas. Yang paksi X. Paksi X. Manipulated variable. Very good. Responding variable and manipulated variable. Hey guys. Sekarang kan, you kena fikir betul-betul tau. You kena fikir betul-betul. You tengah buat eksperimen ni. You tengah buat eksperimen ni kan. Apa yang responding? 
apa yang responding? Yang yang bergerak balas. Yang bergerak balas. Dalam eksperimen atas ni, what is responding? No, 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 not time taken. No, 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 no. Ha, saya ah tadi dengar, dengar, dengar. Ah, saya dah dapat dah. Danush betul, Khalida betul, Farah Kimia betul, Jeramia betul, Renuga betul. Maksudnya guys, dalam eksperimen ini, you kan tengah ukur dia punya jisim, isi padu, mol mola. You tengah ukur dia punya jisim, mol molium and what mola. Dia sentiasa berubah. Betul ke salah? Do you notice or not? Maka, your dia adalah your y axis will be the mass. Kalau tanah mass, volume. Kalau tanah volume is the mole and molar. Okay. Mass, volume, mole, molar. And guys, do you know or not? Manipulated variable ini sebenarnya time taken. Time taken. Time taken. Sebab apa tau? You yang tengah ukur. You tengah ukur. Eh, guys. Mari saya tanya satu benda. Eh. You pernah tak buat eksperimen Naftalin? Naftalin. You perasan tak? You perasan tak? Sebelum buat eksperimen, you sebenarnya dah letak masa. Kosong. Tiga puluh. Enam puluh. Sembilan puluh. So mean the time is the one you manipulate. The time is the one you manipulate. Yeah, do you understand? So the responding is the suhu temperature. So in this case, my dear, the time is the manipulator. And the responding is the mass, volume, mole, molar. Okay. Okay. Siapa nak salin? Salin sekarang. I'm going to erase this. Siapa ni? Far- Farhan, tutup. Saya tak dapat mute. Farhan. Far- okay, thank you Farhan. Okay, I erase this. <coughs> okay, I'm erasing this. Okay, now can guys, now can guys. <coughs> okay, you tengok eh, you tengok eh. Saya lukis balik benda ni. And you have the mass volume and uh siapa eh mass volume mole and and what molar okay and this is your time taken time taken okay now can guys guys What is your formula of a rate? Yeah? Rate. Ambil lah satu. Mass. Contoh ya. Yeah? Ambil mass. What is the formula of the mass? Uh, sorry. Rate for mass. It's a mass over time taken. Eh hey guys. Boleh tak saya tanya kamu satu benda? Mass ada dekat paksi mana? Mass ada dekat paksi mana? Why? And... Time ada kat paksi mana? X. Hey guys. What is Y over X? What is Y over X? What is Y over X? Ya yeah, kecerunan. Gradient. Rupa-rupanya rate adalah kecerunan graf. 
Rupa-rupanya, red adalah the radian of the graph. Kecerunan graph. Faham ke tak? It's actually the gradient of the graph. Okay, guys, if you do, do you still remember you have a A and it become B? Okay, this is your reactant and become the product. And O. Uh, this is your reactant and this is your product. Okay, guys, what is A again? What is A again? Reactant. Apa tu reactant? Before the experiment. Boleh tak saya tanya kamu satu benda? What do you mean by before experiment? What do you mean by before experiment? What do you mean by before experiment? Apa maksud kita sebelum eksperimen? Belum react, yes. Never react yet. What do you mean by that? Masih suci. What is that? Tak, 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 tak. Guys, you are, dengar sini betul-betul. What do you mean by before experiment? Before experiment, maksudnya apa? Apa maksud initial? Ah, Danush. Betul, Danush. Before experiment, T is equals to zero. Masa belum mula. Masa belum mula. Sebab tu dia before experiment. Jadi, before experiment, you ada reactant, you tak ada produk. After experiment, katakan ya, eh, experiment ini untuk 10 saat. 10 saat. You tak ada reactant, you ada produk. Now, guys, I'm going to change this thing to the graph. Into the graph. Into the graph. Di mana... T kosong kat sini. T sepuluh kat sini. Will you agree with me? T kosong. Ni kan saat, time taken, kosong dengan sepuluh. Okay. Dengar sini betul-betul ya, anak-anak. Anak-anak, sekarang ni, you tengok A sahaja. You tengok A sahaja. Don't look the B. Okay. When the T is zero, when the T is zero, A is what? A is what? One. Lebih kurang, ya. Yeah? Lebih kurang di sini. When the T is 10 second, the A is zero. Okay. Sekarang, guys, You only look the B. You only look the B. Look at the B. Okay. When the T is zero, what is B? What is B? When the T is zero, B is zero. When the T is ten, B is? B is one. Guys, graph dia ni pelik sikit. Tengok sini betul-betul, macam mana nak sambung? Yang hijau dengan hijau, yang biru dengan biru. Biru adalah a product graph. Hijau adalah reactant graph. Reactant, product and reactant. Product and reactant. Product and reactant. Guys. Saya nak tanya kamu eh. Uh, yes, Sarah. Yes, Sarah. 
Yelah lepas eksperimen kan Reaktan jadi kosong Memang Have to be like that Yes Okay I tell you eh Guys Can I Okay saya nak tanya kamu Bila kamu ada Dengar sini Bila kamu ada reaktan Bila kamu buat Bahan eksperimen Bahan eksperimen Dia semakin Bertambah ke Semakin berkurangan Bila kamu buat eksperimen Bahan semakin bertambah ke Semakin berkurangan Sebab itulah graf dia semakin turun bawah. Sebab itulah graf dia semakin turun bawah. That's why the graph is going downward. Yes. Okay, another one. Eh? I, I, listen. Eh? When you have a product, bila kamu ada hasil dalam eksperimen, the product will increases or decreases. Product dalam eksperimen. Produk dalam eksperimen. Sebab itulah graf dia increase. is going upward. That's why it is going upward. That's why product graph is going upward. The reactant graph is going downward. Okay, siapa nak screen capture you do it now? We not yet finish, my dear student. But, okay. Sena padam. Okay. Guys, there is one thing. <laughs> Allahu Akbar.